hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here you are welcome my name is samira today we are going to be talking about the nysc from the orientation camp down to the ppa level if this is something you would like to know please keep on watching <laughs> back today i'm going to be talking about the nysc the nysc is an acronym for national youth service corps this program was invented by the nigerian government in 1973 in order for youth to engage in national service this is a one-year program that consists of a three weeks orientation program and also being assigned to an organization either private or public to serve your nation everything i'm going to say in this video is going to be based on my own experience currently i'm serving in abuja and i camped in the kubwa orientation camp so i'm going to tell you everything i experienced today experiences differs so like I said, I'm going to be breaking it down from the orientation camp down to what to expect in your PPA. A PPA means place of primary assignments, and this is where you'll be assigned to serve. After your registration process, you're going to wait for like a few days before the color plate comes out. Now, what do you need for the orientation camp? I'm going to be breaking this down into papers and clothes. I'm going to tell you the documents to take to camp and also the clothes and accessories you might need in camp. Immediately you get your color plate. Make sure you find group chats that are going to provide basic information to guide you through and probably you'll meet your fellow core member, maybe from the same state, so you guys could go together. But for security reasons, this is normally not a good option because you never know who is who. So just try to get basic information on how to get to your destination. In terms of documents, you need your call-up letter. Your call-up letter is a letter that contains where you are being posted to and where you are going to camp. If you get your call-up letter, make sure to make photocopies. This is important. You can also make photocopies in the camp, but preferably just make them before you get to the camp you need your green card now this green card is a paper that contains all the information about you your educational qualities and also information and phone number of your next of kin this paper is really important your school identity card do not forget make photocopies statement of results i didn't even have my certificate with me so all i had was my statement of results and my school id card and this was useful take enough passports take enough passport take no passport i can't over emphasize the importance of passport just take enough you would need it different places different like different places they will need your passport so just take enough of them certificate or license this is usually for medical students bring your medical certificate with you it's important medical fitness now this is a paper that they give to you at the hospital after going through a series of tests to make sure that you are fit this paper is important you also have to make photocopies of them we're done with the documents let's move to stationaries now these ones they, they are important because you can't be borrowing pen on the first day of camp you can't so take your pen with you take your papers like a jotter so you can jot things down take it with you you cannot be borrowing on the first day of camp it's not nice the pen a jotter stapler this depends permanent marker so you could write your names on your things now clothings you are going to spend three weeks in camp so you could take like three sunday wears sunday wears are used for church if you are a christian or you could take them to the mosque on fridays during juma prayers you need a round neck something like this a round neck like this if you're someone who do not want to be washing clothes every day you could take five pairs you could take 10 pairs according to your pockets just make sure you have enough white round neck and you need a shot i'm going to insert a picture of this round neck and the shot so you understand what i'm saying plain white sneakers or tennis boots 
this is usually what you wear on your white round neck and your white shirt this is a rubber tennis shoe you could use this i find it easy to wash this after every day program so you could get this for yourself underwears now for underwears it's advisable to get white underwears but if you feel you don't like white or white is not convenient for you you could go for black but please do not wear colored underwears because it's going to show imagine wearing a white round neck and we are seeing red inside it's not nice get a black or a white underwear white socks i have a picture so i'm going to insert it here just get a white socks probably get enough pairs according to what you can afford or what you want take enough cash if i could keep ringing this into your ears i would all day money is important and going to a place like this it's important <laughs> For your daily needs, for the Muslim, you can take your Quran, and for the Christians, you can take your Bible, antiseptics, and disinfectant. You're going to be using a general toilet and a bathroom. This is a public one, so you do not want to get out of that camp with infection. Go with your disinfectant, please. You need your bathing soap, you need your bathing sponge, you need a bowl. A bowl is important because the showers don't even work. As at the time I was in camp, the showers did not work. So you need to take your bowl, bed sheet, pillow, and pillowcase. If you're someone coming from far and you feel it to be quite uncomfortable to bring these things from home because of parks and all that, you could get them in camp or you could get them outside camp. I actually got mine outside camp. I was getting down from the car and, I, and there were these women who had everything I needed from the bucket to the bowl to the pillow everything now if you do not want to use the public toilet there's this little bowl i'm going to find a picture and insert for you people to see where you can use to pull i found out that a lot of people brought that to camp i personally feel you need the bleach more like hypo because you are going to be using a lot of white materials and it would be nice to have it because you have to keep clean at all time your body cream your chargers your power bank cloth hangers comb and your hair needs you need a cooler or a plate anyone that's convenient for you i took both take a plate a cup and your cutleries detergent and bar soap mosquito nets especially if you are going during the raining season you need a mosquito net i went during the hamatan season i still needed mosquito nets because there were few of them who felt they needed to suck blood and if you're someone who do not like people sitting on your bed and you're down bunk you would need a mosquito net you need a padlock you need the peg you need bathroom slippers toiletries touch lights a towel a waste bag now this waste bag is really important because you are going to need them to pull your things you're going to be in the parade ground most of the time and you can't take a handbag because it will be very uncomfortable so you need a waste bag to put your power bank your chargers your phone anything you need that one is very important really 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 important and basically other essentials for the ladies if you you want to take anything take it but there are certain things that are contraband and when they seize them they write your name down and give you a paper and tell you to come back in my own case i took an adapter and it got seized and told me to come back the last day of camp i did not go back if you are someone who's under medication it's advisable to take it with you and show them what you have then you guys will sort yourself out from there but it's advisable to show it to them when you get to camp take your basic drugs like your paracetamol or any painkiller you are going to be taking part in physical activities and if you're someone who gets tired or feel pain easily it's advisable to take these drugs with you next up i'm going to be telling you what to experience in camp let's get into it choose for these papers 